Alright guys, welcome to episode one of my Battle Brothers campaign, where we're going to follow the fierce and hopefully fruitful exploits of the Dragon These Nuts campaign. <laughs> so, I'm going to try something a little bit different this time. And we're going to be following my uh, group of soldiers from the Dragon These Nuts campaign, and I'm going to try to um, make the campaign feel a little bit more lifelike. We'll see how that works. It's probably going to be awful, but let's do this. You are second in command in a mercenary company that has been tracking a brigand named Hoggard for some time now. An unexpected turn of events leaves the company in shatters and you charge to rebuild it to its former glory. Recommended for new players as it includes some helpful guidance in the beginning. I need that. Me. And we are the Dragon Deez Nuts clan. There we go. Next! Economic difficulty. Veteran. Combat difficulty. Veteran. Starting funds. I. <laughs> we need money. <laughs> Give me the money. Tip. Selling your merch in big cities will net you the most crowns for your goods. So we're going to play a full campaign. The episodes will probably be hour long and we'll work on this whenever there's not like a new game to play. So. It all went wrong. Two days ago, the company was hired to track down Hoggart the Weasel and his band of raiders. But it was them who found you first and ambush. Some jokes about horses cut short by an arrow to the throat. Arrows shooting in from everywhere and nowhere. Men holler and scream. A great volume before death. What the fuck? There's arrows everywhere. Oh shit. <laughs> That's how I picture it. As the hail subsides, you draw your weapon with the rest of your men, only to collapse to your knees. An arrow has punctured your side. You shout in pain. Fuck! <laughs> a hurried glance sees the man charge without you to make a valiant last stand. Met in force as still clashes with still. You meet with eyes with their captain. The last nod before his sword is cut. You're left in command now, of what few men remain. Trembling in pain, you lean on your sword, and with all the will you can, muster slowly rise again. I guess. Alright, he's dead. Oh, good! He got so slip. Dead. Oh, he's got some cool hair. Captain Bernard. Oh, he dead too. Shit! Captain Bernhard! No! All right, who we got here? We got Ingolf, Olaf, whose turn is it? Is it your turn, Egon? Is it not my turn? Whose turn is it? Yeah, it's your turn, homie. Oh, you got an arrow. Can you hit him from here? 15% chance to hit. That's not what we're looking for. Let's try a little bit closer. Take like this, friggin' thug. Yes, we hit! It's a miracle! Christmas! Good job, Egon! Alright, Olaf. It's my time for some battle. And we're out of energy. God damn it. Alright, Ingolf. Get your booty up here. Cannot reach. Block. Okay. Or kill a lot. That's cool too. Whatever. He gone. Let's go up here, homie. And then we shoot again. Oh my god, this guy is a freaking sniper elite. Oh my god, you are not a sniper elite. You missed, you suck. Oh my god, the farm. Loud. Loud noises. Oh 
All right, Dingolf. Let's see what you got. Thrust. Oh yeah, we hit him. Didn't do much, but we got him. Oh yeah. Yeah, missed. Oh, not his helmet. Okay, Olaf, well, uh, you're getting murdered. That's not what we're looking for. What the? That took all my energy just to reload. Hmm. I think any of them have a shield. Alright, Olaf, uh, it's your time to hit. Yes! I don't think you can run in this game where you get your ass kicked. Oh my god, don't kill Olaf! <laughs> Jesus. Hi, dude, I believe in you. Oh, we still can't hit him. Now. Boom, baby. Oh my god, we missed. Alright. Yes, die. Yay! And our thus are three heroes of Ingolf, Olaf, Egon, and their journey was born. Claim that shit. We want that club. That club's real nice. Best wooden stick ever. Yes. Nice. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. You are alive. You won. The adrenaline rate fades and it's jerk and in its wake. You can't help but sink back to the ground, gritting your teeth. You snap the arrow shaft, your chest heaves. Pain for breath, everything blurs. The company has been devastated, cut down to but a few men. And that bastard hog it into justice to his name, fleeing like the weasel he is. What now, Captain? A voice says from behind, it's Olaf who sits down beside you, betting his bloodied axe on his leg. You turn to him to reply. But before you can answer, he continues. Bernard's dead. They slit his throat. He was a good man and a damn good leader. But all it took was one mistake. That makes you the one in charge now, don't it? Egon joins the two of you, still heavily breathing, then in golf. Save this. Save the ceremony and anointments for another day. Let's. Give the men a good barrel and return to Erlak to collect our pay. The weasel's men are slain, after all. Besides, Captain, we ought to see the wound before we. Oh, that's so fucking Olaf. Damn it. Before we lose you, wouldn't you want you to leave Egon in charge, right? So be it. So be it. Alright. So now we gotta head back to town. Seems like these maps are randomly proceed, uh, generated. So oh, that's good, I guess. Where are we going? Return to Urlac. Where the fuck is Urlac at? Urlac? Oh, Urlac, where art thou? Oh, there you are. And thus our band continues their woeful tale with Olaf getting the shit kicked out of him. Which is not good. Olaf does not like that. Hopefully he doesn't like that anyways. He got his ass beat. He almost died. What a sorry display. It must be for the onlookers. As you arrive in Erlac, four bloodied and beaten mercenaries down on their luck. The man who hired the company days ago, Sigmund the Guildmaster, no doubt expected you to return in a more glorious fashion. Still, he welcomes you to his house and offers bread and wine while a servant fetches a healer. Few words are exchanged except for an occasional grunt and wheeze as an elderly man with shaky hands tends your wound. A pin pierces your skin, the first of many stitches to come. You grit your teeth so you think you hear one break. Sigmund, the guild leader, sits beside you and asks if you took care of Hogger. You shake your head. We killed his men, but the weasel eluded our blades in the end. 
The healer waves around a glowing fire poke, suggesting he wants to push it into your wound. You nod and he does so. For a moment, that's all there is. You're not a man, but a pinch of fire, flesh from flame. A golem of pain, Sigmund the Guildmaster, hands you a goblet of wine. Hmm, you did well, Selsor. The brigands haven't been removed, though it is a shame that Hogger still lives. We expect to get paid for this. Sigmund the Golden Master gasped. <gasps> well, naturally, 400 crowns as agreed upon. He gestures towards the servant who rushes to your side with the pay in hand. I wonder, may I make use of your services one more time? I'd very much like to end the headache that is Hogger once and for all. And I would pay you again, of course. Another 400 crowns, shall we say? Olaf scuffs and turns to drink more wine, but Ingolf stands to speak. Well, yes, the company is in ruin, but we will be able to build it. Without the dragon, these nuts, Olaf would drink the crowns away and end up begging on the street. And Egon, by the gods, we all know he'd go chasing the women folk until one stove has rotted his head in. We need the Dragon These Nuts clan. It's all we have. What say you, Captain? Olaf burps and raises his cup. Egon playfully thumps his nose and nods. Kill that bastard or hogger or not? It's up to you, Captain. Yes, we have fin unfinished business with Hoggart. Sigmund the Guildmaster claps his hands in satisfaction. Excellent, my little birds. We'll need some time to find where Hogger is hiding his hide now. In the meantime, I suggest you see about stocking up on supplies so that you'll be good and ready to end this when the day comes. I shall see you in a few time, days' time at the latest. As you leave, Sigmund the Guildmaster's house and stand on the outskirts of Erlac, Ingolf seeks a word with you. We need more mid, Captain. I know I gave a big speech back there, but Barado won't do shit. We need more warm bodies in the ranks. Figured we find good three good men, but buy them some decent weapons and dress them in the best armor we can afford. The man pauses to glance around. I bet this Bowdown's town has got a desperate peasant or two looking for a new life. Or we could travel to Grafenstein in the northeast. Them city folk aren't always as hard as these country bumpkins, but we're more likely to find men with fighting experience stopping the rest there. That's what we shall do, my good Ingolf. Why, where are we going? <laughs> my dude's just going off on his own. Alright, we need to hire some men. What is your power? What are you? Who are you? Vagabonds, are you still on travelers, but don't excel in particular anything? Background, daytellers, are you still kind of physical work? Helmar. Hmm. Let's take a try this guy. Raised by thieves on a diet of honey, milk, and stolen gold. What is your ability? Nothing. You got nothing. <sighs> I guess we'll hire the thief. Actually, let's get some cheap people. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. How are you doing, homie? Night Owl. Some characters adapt to low fighting conditions better than others, and this individual is especially good at it. Hire. Erwin Quickmind. Nothing.
Alright, do you have anything good that's make make my people hit worth a shit? Range of seven tiles. Alright, let's get that for our friend. We got you a new weapon, my friend. How do we... We need more ammo, I believe. Alright. Shopping's hard. Excuse me. Why are my character sprites down here all fucked up? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Visit Graf and Shine or whatever it's called. Northeast of Erlac. Oh, northeast is this way. Duh. Lol. Why can't I interact with this thing? Interact with me. Love me. Oh, whatever. What's this trophy? Ambition, you have not announced the name any- oh fuck. As Greffenshine Skyline appears on the horizon, Egon seeks a word with you. Never been to Graffenstein before, but I've been around ones that look like it. A lot like it. Cities like these are great for selling goods as all those prissy pompous pricks love to the, have their goods delivered. With so many merchants you can find almost everything you need. Keep an eye out for bargains, and don't get swindled by them cutthroat merchants. Olaf sees fit to add his own opinion of what you should do. If there's a good tavern, I say there's where we should go first. Nothing helps a man down his on his luck more than a good pint. God knows we earned it. Egon shakes his head. You say that every time we step into town. You say that even when you're already drunk? <laughs> That dude looks like he's about to whoop somebody's ass. Hopefully it's not me. <laughs> Let's see. What are you? A Wigmar. A little bit of expensive. Othar. No. Good, I don't need that.
Hey, for a round to get patrons to share more news and rumors. There you go, friends. The is there anything nice here? Barber. Nah, I don't care about their beards right now. Twenty-five, fifteen, and twenty-five. So bad at shopping. How do you do this? No, I don't want to do that. There we go. We're broke as hell. <laughs> Can't afford shit. Well, that's all we can afford, folks. One of you's going in there unprepared. <laughs> what should it be? That should be good enough. Let's return to Sigmund, the Guildmaster. See what he has for us. Oh Lord. Unfinished business. Sigmund the Guildmaster is pacing back and forth when you find him. The healer who damn near killed you with the fire poke is standing nearby. He's picking chunks of dried blood out of his fingernails. Sigmund the Guildmaster claps his hands. Finally, you're here. I have good news. We got hold of one of Hogger's former men. My good friend here had a nice little talk with the man, and I, now I know where Hogger is licking his wounds. The killer clears his throat, splaying his fingers out like a maiden, looking to paint them. He speaks as though he's identifying a disease he is about to excise. The brigand known as Hoggart is find, hiding in a small hut in the steppe to the west of here. Based upon my civil discussion with one of his men, Hoggart knows the dragon these nuts is on his heels, and he will have gathered more men since the last time you met him. Nodding Sigmund, the Guildmaster waves you off. Good luck, Sellsword. We'll return with his head, my friend. All right. I just want to know how to deal with the supply caravan. I don't. Ah, whatever. Screw it. We're headed to the hills. Where's he at in the hills? 
west of Erlac, which would be this way. Uh, let's pause. We're looking for something right now. I can't pause. Beekeeper. That's not what we're looking for. It says it's west of Erlac, which would be straight west of Erlac, would be over there. I don't see it. Ah, there it is. All right, let's go kick his ass, sea bass. I'll be right back. I'm gonna give me a soda. for combat. The scout report has seen the following. A few brigand thugs of brigand poacher. Engage! Prepare to get fucked! Alright, we got him outnumbered. That's probably Hoggart. Oh, well, that's a poacher for sure. Whose turn is it? Your turn, Ludger? Oh yeah, you're the <laughs> high initiative guy. Your butt over here. Ah, it's too far. Hmm. No, we can't shoot that far either. Jesus. And a miss. Uh. My sprites are all fucked up. Why? Yeah, mess me. Oh hell! They're killing him, Ludger. No. How much does this take? 8 AP. Alright. Yeah! We shot him. What does this do? Knockout. Forty seven percent, forty seven percent. Yeah, done everyone. Oh no, we lost him. Who was that? Oh, he's dead now, I guess. God, he's got a lot of damn armor. Why won't you die?
Dim oh, okay, good. You missed. Oh my god, I missed. Why do you miss all the time, Olaf? We need you some glasses. Oh my god, we need you some glasses, for real. Can't hit anybody, they're too close, I can't reload. Yeah, one's dead. Alright. Time to beat their ass, sea bass. Oh my god, he gets one swing and he misses every time. Yes! Oh, hell no. Nah. They're one-shotting all my people. Yay! Run them down! We're murdering them! This is our first victory. We lost one man. It's alright. Alright, you still missing all off? That's cool, I guess. Whatever. Not getting away from us, bitch. I know about you and your running shit. Old hogger bitch ass. Come here. Finish him. Yes, he hit somebody. It's a freaking miracle. Good luck. Good job, Olaf, you dumb. Ding dong. <laughs> damn ding dong. <laughs> we were missing every damn turn. Rudolph is hurting. You're not getting out of here, dude. I don't know who you think you are. Running around leaving scars, but you're not getting out of here. You're dead. I might hit my dude. I don't want to do that. Finish him, Ingolf. Alright, finish him for real this time. Yes! Trial by fire achievement. What does that mean? Uh, it says Defeat Hoggard at any difficulty level. Good job, us. Loot. Who died? Ludger. He's not dead. He's just hurting very badly. Uh, Rudolph ripped his ear. That sucks. And he's wounded. That's alright. And we did get a lot of good stuff from them, though. That's nice. Loot all the items. 
leave. Nice. Go on. Hagrid lies dead in a pool of his own blood, skewered into a grotesque and panicked pose. He didn't weasel his way out of this one. You put a boot on his corpse and look to your men. For the company. For all those who have fallen. He gone spits on the dead man's face. Let's... Let's take this bastard's head and back to Urlock. Alright, we're going back to Urlock, I guess. Hooray. Give me my money. Wants monies. Was he dead dead? I don't know. He gun joins your side. Got a moment, Captain? You nod for him to speak his mind. The battle has left some gear worse for wear, and some men got a good nick into. We can patch both men and equipment while marching, but it's a lot faster to set down and do it. Of course, if we make camp, we should be wary of ambushes. The campfire in these parts can be seen from very far away. I'll keep it in mind. Thank you. Excuse me. The company returns to Urlach as victors. Their heads held much higher this time. The dragon these nuts are not the size that they once were, but they're still a force to be reckoned with, as Hagrid learned in his final moments. You carry his head in a sack that you empty in front of Sigmund, the guild master's feet. He jumps back, but the healer quickly picks the head up and stares at it and nods. Sigmund the guild master approaches the brigand's bloodied face and eyes it carefully. Yes, yes, that's his ugly mug, all right. Servants, pay this man his money. Coin in hand, you raise your voice to your men. As long as there is blood coursing through our veins, as long as we can hold sword and shield, there shall stand our company, all the realm. All through the realm, people will know the dragon these nuts. <laughs> God. You, the men close cheer. Ingolf puts a hand to your shoulder. You did well, Captain. No matter where you lead us, the men will follow you as brothers in battle. You gain 400 crowns as brothers. Alright, let's go up to Grafenschnein. See if there's any, uh... Alright, let's do this one. Bringer of Grepfenstein's hand turning an apple in hand. He seems frustrated with it. Almost as if he wishes it were something taste else, like a valuable trinket or perhaps just a taste of your food. Have you ever lost something you loved? You shrug and answer. Ah, there was this girl. The man shakes his head. No, not some woman. More important, because I have. Thieves stole my lockbox. How they managed to do get beyond my guard is, well, beyond me. But I know if I set you on them, I'll be having what is rightfully mine back where it belongs. Isn't that right? Or have I been misled as the quality of your services? What's this worth to you? Rest assured that what I'm offering you now is a fine prize for your work. You'll be paid 350 crowns when the work is done. Need payment in advance. It must be. You are to receive 70 crowns in advance and another 260 when the job is done. Accept your offer. Contract you negotiate as that follows. Do you agree to the terms? I'll accept it. Alright.
let's see. Something I was looking for, but I can't remember. Repair stuff. We need repair stuff, don't we? We lost one of our men. Five. These guys better. Thirty. Level up. Uh, in golf, what can we do for you? Good stuff. Two people leveled up. We're doing good, but they're hurting. Now let's see what here. That's jump achievement. Nice. Alright, let's follow these awkward footsteps. I feel like this could be a bamboozle. It falls to you, the commander, to see the co that the company succeeds not just on the battlefield, but also in fame and riches, and so you spend the evenings pondering about a bigger plan for the dragon these nuts. In your tent, with while the men talk and laugh around the fire, you're never going to become a legend simply by chasing brigands and doing small-time contracts. What do you proclaim the men in the company set out to do? We need allies. Forging a bond of friendship and trust with one of the towns will get the company better prices, more volunteers, and more steady work. We shall get the company strength back to a dozen men. It will make us a formidable post. Let's do that one. Kill them! Kill them! They look strong. Uh oh. Ah, the thieves. They are quite hernet human. Simple crew of vagabonds. They arm themselves as you order your men to attack. Shit, this does not seem good. Alright, well, let's all die. Gloriously. I probably should have saved. I'm so stupid. Uh-oh. Whale! I hit him from here? Nice shot. No, no, all oh, hail! Oh, fuck, Bruno. Shit. Oh, Bruno's fucked. I think we're all fucked. There are so many of these fuckers. Fuck, Bruno. God damn it. Thank God he got out of there. Lord Almighty, that was lucky.
Oh, hell. This is not looking good. We're so outnumbered, dude. Oh my god, they're killing him. God, we're so fucked, dude. <laughs> this is not good. Got any miss? That's not what we needed. And he missed. Oh my goodness gracious, we're so screwed. So fucked. This is no good. Hmm. He dead. You can't hit shit. Stab him. Oh my god. Why are we missing so much? Thus, the Dragon Knees and Us Clan dies horribly. nice we're winning kill them kill them all I don't know where you think you're going but you're about to get fucked son stop 
pushing him, you fucking dick. Well, we lost a good amount of men on this, but... You need to stop running from me and me missing. My man's mo running from you. God damn it, stop missing. Where are you going, Rudolph? God damn it, where are you running? You can't keep missing, that's impossible. It's improbable. Stop running, dick. Run them down. You're not getting away from me. We'll hit you eventually, dude. Not going nowhere. I'm in range, I just gotta get close enough. Yes! Good. Is Bruno dead dead? I think Bruno died died. Other people seem to be healing though, we can heal. Did his ear get cut off? Oh, bruised leg, all right, that's not too bad. We can do stuff about that. Olaf hit level three. Oh, these, are they all dead? Are y'all dead? Yeah, he dead. All right, what about you? Oh. Bruno's not dead. Damn, I can't believe we lost Egon. Egon, no! Shit. Alright. You clean the blood off your sword and then go to retrieve the item. As you bend over to pick it up, you spot a man watching you in the distance. He comes forth, his two hands towed him together with long sleeves. I see you've killed my benefactor's men. Sheathing your sword, you nod at the man, he continues. My benefactor paid good money for this artifact. It appears those he paid are no longer owed. So I maybe I can speak to you directly. I will give you 500 crowns for that item. That is good money, Reiner of Grafenstein. However, will not be happy if you decide to accept. We paid to return it, and that's what we'll do. Yeah, I'm not going to break my contract. I'm trustworthy-ish. When you return to the Reiner of Grafenstein, he is playing with a bird in the cage. Ah, the cell sword returns, and you hold up the artifact and then set it on his desk. He takes it, turns it, nods, and puts it away. Excellent. And for your troubles, he waves his hand in a wooden chest filled with crown. You gain 260 crowns. Crowns well deserved. Bloody money achievement. What is that? Play a contract for a settlement. All right, we gotta get our people back. We're hurting. Hurting and a girting. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with my pixels over here, but... We got some big buddies. Big people on our crew. Willie Bald of Grafenshine folds his hands together when he sees you. 
This might be a strange question, but how interested are you in making a delivery for me? Explain for the right price. Such a journey would be a welcome departure from the usual killing and dying that goes on around you. The man clasp, claps his hands together. Excellent. Unfortunately, I don't expect it to be quite like that. It's of enough import to garner unsavory attention, which is why I'm looking to hire sellswords in the first place. It's going to distract Earth. A day or so southwest of Hereby Road, where a man with, by the name of Weighty Kind, the Guildmaster, is waiting for it to fall into his hands. So you see, this won't be the departure you speak of, but it can be a fine payday if you're interested. Talk money. Hell no, nah, give me some more money. I need more money than that. Uh, I guess I'll accept it, Jesus. Give me some time. I need to rest my men pretty badly. Can, can we not camp? Or do I have to hit the T key? Alright. money god why is everything so expensive in this game and I don't barely make anything off anything People heal, they're dying. Oh, goodness gracious. For my people to heal. Okay, we all healed now? Alright, let's go do battle, I guess. Alright. Southwest would be this way. Stock turf. Where would that be? Oh, this is east. What am I doing? 
Along the way, while the company takes a short rest, you sit down to examine the wound where an error punctured your side not too long ago. It's been healing slowly and still aches you if you move too quickly, but things are getting better. Ingolf joins you, seizing the opportunity to talk to his captain. So, the way I see it, nobody knows about the dragon these nuts yet. We don't want to hunt ragtag bands of brigands through the woods forever, but we'll have to make a name for ourselves first as reliable source for hire. They can get things done for the noble houses to take notice. They'll want to use the company for far better ta paying tasks, I'm sure. He adjusts his weapon and belt and continues, just we keep in mind that the High Lords are playing a dangerous game but we don't want to get on their bad side. There's enough stories of people who get crossed them only to end up quartered in to be fed to pigs, and they have the means to squash e squish even a company of sellsword. He pauses a short moment and then adds another thought. The guild masters and councilmen running these villages in town too have good memory. We depend on them to hire a company for now. But having some influential help friends may also help us get better deal with merchants. I'll keep that in mind, friend. Where's Stockland at? All the way down here? Alright. We got a ways to go. This game's pretty neat though, I do enjoy it quite a bit. It seems pretty hard though, my people keep getting murdered, and I'm not a big fan of that. Should probably actually see if I can equip my people with better stuff. Since uh, what's his face died, and I did not want to die. Keep equipping our people. I like getting golf with the spear. He's really good with that. There's Reiner. Who are you? I don't know. Seems like you want a sword, though. There you go, friend. Oh, he's in one of my new people. I forgot I got new people. A two hander or one hander? Nice. I wonder how we make sure to make stuff work or repair. Alright, let's go! Strachendurf! Finally, you've made it. What we kind the guild master is standing there in the middle of the road, his hands clasped over his stomach, a slick grin on his cheeky face. Well, sword, I'm sure, not sure you'd make it. The, you lug the cargo up and hand it over. Oh yeah, why do you say that? The man takes the box and hands it off to the rogue man, who quickly quickly hurries away with it tucked under one arm. Would the kind the guild master laughs as he hands you a satchel crown. The roads are rough these days, are they not? You understand he's making small talk, anything to get your attention off the cargo you just handed over. Whatever, you got your pay, that's good enough for you. Crown's well deserved. Do we have any missions here that might want to mission me? I need more money. Got any good people that might want to join my... Minstrel, a good minstrel. A loot is not a weapon, however, minstrels are often not used to physical labor or bloodshed. I don't know what they do then. Useless. What's this quest? Negotiations. You walk around Stockdorf before stopping a man and asking him if there's anything interesting around. He balances a smelly and dripping pitchfork on his shoulder and he thinks. Well, there's the horrors. Mm -hmm. The man grins, mostly to himself on that one. 
They all right. There's also Torkoal the Younger. Wait, are you that self sword feller? The stranger squints at you and then can quickly continues. Ah, shit, of course. Yeah, Torkoal the Younger talked about you. He said, Sigward, go and clear out the shit in the horse stalls. And if you see that mercenary people are talking of, fetch him for me. He stops and points down the road toward the building. So yeah, if you want some money, then the fellow that in there wants to pay you. I don't think that he needs another man slinging shit if he was worried about that. I got that shit under lock. I'm all ears. Torkoal the Younger folds his hand together when he sees you. This might be a strange question, but how interested are you in making a delivery for me? You explain that for the right price. Ah, uh, that's the same thing. Ah, uh, we're going back? Okay, that's fine with me. We're delivering something to Reiner. Ah, uh, whatever. It's not like they fight me too. I haven't run into too many bad people while doing this. So I think it'll be alright. As long as we don't run into battle or anything, we should be good. And we're making money. Dirty deeds. Done dirt cheap. What's these footprints? Oh, those are my footprints, I guess. There's some peasants if we want to kill them, but nah, I'm good. I don't see any reason for that. Yet. Ah, uh, same thing. Okay. We need provisions. We spotted something on our way here, hidden off, way off the road, in the plains not far northwest of Grafenstein. Don't know what the locals call it, or even, but it might be worth it going back there. Okay. Top left, or top west, they said? Northwest? Grafenstein? I don't see anything. Maybe I can get some work in Erlac. You got it for me. Oh, I... oh this is another quest. We need to be paid more. Whatever. God, these people suck. Damn, I might just let the dude fucking buy it this time. That's something I did this. I got murdered. See if this goes better for us this time, hopefully. Hell no, there's seven of these suckers still. Whatever, we'll give it a try. 
Engage! Alright. Nice shot, Bruno. I want to try and do the roundabout attack and see if I can get all of them. Oh yeah. Hey. I need to equip him with the damn one-hander, but I'm stupid. Alright. Nice, Duke. Sick. God damn it, dude. <laughs> oh, Lord. I wish I could tilt. Can I rotate the camera somehow? I can't see. Oh, hell! What the fuck just happened? Oh, hell! <laughs> he just got murked. Oh, shit! His head came. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn, that's not good. That is not what you want to see happen to our friends. Damn, he killed the hell out of one of my people. That was not good. Yes, we killed him. Good. I don't need him chopping people's heads off again. That was fucking awful. What is happening with my damn game, dude? It's like freaking the fuck out. Can't even see shit. Like, what the fuck?
Ingolf has such good aim, I love it. Stop it! You're hurting him. Nice, for pause is OP, dude. kicking ass except for what's his name god what's his name got freaking murdered dude that was not even cool <laughs> like that dude straight up died <laughs> he got his head chopped off what am i supposed to do about that like for real what am i supposed to... oh my god reiner i feel so bad for that man but that battle was pretty good outside of that oh my god though for real Bro, <laughs> battle is over. You return, retrieve the lockbox. All right. Okay, I'll move. I'll just pause. Ah, <sighs> that sucked. God, I can't keep more than like six people in my squad because they keep getting murdered. No oh boy, no. Sigmund the Guildmaster, resting his legs on two dogs, each one uh, passed out on top of each other. These beasts could rip my head out. Yet, look at them. How does that happen? I didn't even train them. Someone else did. I'm a stranger to them, yet there they are. He placed the artifact on the man's table and then slide it across. He leans forward and takes it. He places it under his desk. When his hand returns, he's got a satchel in hand. He tosses it over. As promised. Good work, Cell Sword. Oh, we got an achievement. Oh, we're friendly with the place. Nice. Hire. I need a replacement. Iron lungs, that works for me. Need some uh, food. I don't know how to repair my gear though. Olaf, we want you to have the best helmet for sure. We need all the best gear. I need you to have some kind of knife or something, dude. You gotta start stabbing people when they get close. Sucker up. What's the stars mean, I wonder? Uh, one may never know. Alright, Wendell. We'll give you something good. I don't know what you want, but we got a flail. Something, I guess. Short sword, short sword. 30 40, 30 40. 
Missing a finger. No, we don't want that. We want that back. Oh, we can't cure it. God damn it. How's my archer missing a finger? That's some bullshit. <laughs> that sucks. Maybe I can buy stuff and sell it. I don't know what sells for good though. We'll try to sell it, see what we get, I guess. We definitely lost money on that one. That was a bad idea. Jesus Christ. Alright. And we're not doing that again. Huh. <laughs> Thought I could like take it somewhere and trade it. That was obviously a mistake. Try going northwest, but I don't know what it's talking about. There's not too no Oh, here we go. Deciding that Erlac is a good place to invest your effort, you decide to offer the protection of your company and take up any work suitable to your talents. You just act like a gentleman in your dealings with the locals and encourage the men to mind their manners. While in the settlement, there was, of course, some griping at first. Engulf was sorely disappointed to give up brawling with the farmers, especially with the dragon these nuts spending so much time in Erlock. But you convinced the men that having a friendly base of operations is important to your, in your line of work, as it meant getting better prices on the market and more people willing to help join your motley band. It's also much less tiring not having to dodge militia all the time. You are even... You even enlisted the men to do some small tasks in exchange for nothing but goodwill. I found that little brat off and dragged him right home, Wendell brags, quickly outvied by Rudolph. I went out to the market for the old spinster, sent her, split her firewood for the winter, and even put her washing, but I draw the line at rescuing tree cats. Company gained renown. Ingolf is in good spirits. This will help us. Sure. Supposedly, there's something up here, but I don't know what it is. Supposedly, I guess. You can go to Gebel Pub Cider, I guess. Need to find some kind of work. I'm running out of money. Ooh, I suck at this game. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe there's something here. No. Okay. Got any quests for me? I can't even take that quest. Hmm. While marching down the road, you find a man with a broken cart by the side of the path. 
By the wagon there is a donkey standing idle and as defeated as a donkey can look. The traitor looks a little better than that and your parents seem to have scared him. He rears up backing away momentarily. Have you come to take my things? If so, you needn't kill me. Take whatever you want. Let's help you get your cart on the road again. You disarm the man from his fears and order a few of the Dragon Dee's Nuts finest to get the wagon back on the road. They make short work of it and the trader looks rather impressed by their efficiency. With his wares back on the road, he offers a few tokens of gratitude off the wagon. These provisions will be useful in the days to come. Nice. Thanks, dude. Good deeds are good sometimes, I guess. Words. Damn. We gotta find some work, buddies. <laughs> that place didn't have any quests for me. What is my quest? Wish I could. I don't know how to interact with like trading caravans and stuff. Any mission or anything? You feel good today, ready to lead the Dragon Dee's Nuts to any challenges to come. You gather the men around, kicking in golf to his feet and telling Eric Runfar to fi finish scrapping away the hairs on his neck later. With their mustering has, subs muttering has subsided, you start to address them. What did you tell the men to the company will do? We need a battle standard so that we're recognized from afar. Having one be made is costly, so we shall gather 2,000 crowns for this. Let us set into the wilderness, discover the unknown, and plunder it, be it a whisper soon. We shall get the company strength back to a dozen men. That'd be nice. I like that. Have a roster of release 12 men. Let's figure out how we can do that. We need money. <laughs> we need money and work. Any quests in Strockdorf, maybe? It's too hard to keep men alive to have a roster of 12 men, though. Alright, let's see. Dorkel the Younger looks out his window. We both know the brigands and the gods know what else are terrorizing these parts. And they are all quite fond of the roads. After a particularly bad run, my old caravan guards lost the heart for the job. Now I need someone else to watch the ship it. Next one is out to the Bitterfield to the northeast, maybe a day or so from here. Does that sound like a place you'd like to be paid to go? What does it pay? Paid per head with a fine, fine. It's two crowns per. 60, 140. God! Whatever. I need to stop being such a punk. <laughs> but... Is that me? That's me. I'm in the trading caravan. Who? Oh, I shouldn't have done that, because I don't see any attackers. Up to 30 attackers? Lord almighty, I messed up. Oh well. <laughs> At least it moves for me, that's kind of cool. Well, I learned, I guess. What you got for me? Yeah, let's do it.
Ah, screw it. That's fine with me. I ain't trying to die here. Is there any cheap bin here? See if we got it. Oh my god, we're out of money again. It's so expensive. <laughs> Life is so expensive. Marketplace. What can we sell? Oh, this thing. We don't need that. I think we need that either. Alright, what you got for me? Oh, whatever. Screw it. Need the money. Ah, give me money! Oh, it's hard to make a living in this game. I'm so bad at it that I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> We've been traveling back and forth doing the same quest. Well, we have one more man, man than we did, so I guess we're making some kind of progress for Jesus. I can't believe my archer's missing a finger. That's such crap. I should have done that one quest instead of finding him for the money. It's like the most money I've been offering. I was like, eh, give me more money. <laughs> you find Widdekin, the guildmaster, talking to a group of peasants. Seeing you, he quiets them all down. Shush, a lot of you. This man here can solve our problem. The townsman takes you aside. Sellsword, we have quite a problem. There's a relic I need finding. Some such thing by the name of Prophet's Pamphlets. I don't really give a good old god's darn about it. Damn about it. What? These people worship it for spring rains and winter shelter. Naturally, it's gone missing, and for whatever reason, folks think it's gone off to a place by the name of Gatekeeper's Rest all on its own. Nobody will go there, but you will, yes? For the right price, of course. Sounds simple enough. What's to pay? Sure. Yeah. Why not? I can't really afford him right now, to be honest. I don't have the gear. North. West of Strogdorf, which would be this way. I'm sure we're gonna get into a big battle, lose all our men and die. Can I save? Is that a possibility? Save campaign, that's a good idea. New save game, save. Smart. Smart. Boy. Saving. Look at me, look at me. I'm an adult, yay. <laughs> Alright guys, if you thought this was interesting and want to see more Battle Brothers, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if this video does pretty well, I'll make more videos. If not, um, I'll still do it because it's something I enjoy, but I'll probably be focusing more on the games that are releasing rather than uh, putting out videos for this. Unless it is something people enjoy and then I'll try to make more videos for it more frequently, but just something I'm playing around with. I haven't done many videos for longer games, but... Bye!